Okay, browser 2, here we go. You click on the install file, click install, click next, install. This one is a little bit on the difficult side to set up, but it's a good solid browser. I'll also have links in it uh, on the video for you for this one as well as to how to set it up. Some of these browsers are something else now, I'm telling you with the name. Okay, this is the first thing you see. So the first thing you want to do is come down here to settings. And I'm going, oh wait. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do this part. Show home buttons. And we're going to do Facebook. And you don't want the brow uh, quant. Uh, no, we don't. We're gonna change that. <laughs> we're gonna do something completely different because I don't like that part of the search engine either. So we're gonna change that from that to Google. No, I don't want to make it default. I want it left alone. Um, now we'll go get home page F A C E Facebook and set the main home page is you're always going to set it as Facebook and then once you get into it you can go back later and change whatever you need to uh, advanced scroll scroll down until you get to downloads you're going to change downloads to desktop so you can save your bookmarks or save your settings and always ask where to change to okay then you're going to scroll down everything's done here so the first thing you're going to do is open up a tab and go to tamper monkey and you're going to add tamper monkey click add this is a good solid browser there's one thing I need to show you right here uh, if you don't fix this it will block your bots okay so the first thing we got to do now is close this close this click on this and can mark always set and then site data you want to click block you want to click that and you want to go back and click cookies blocked um, okay this one is going to be allow and Google allow and Google allow and then click done and then we want to go to Facebook and it should be okay now okay that's how you fit, uh, finish so that you get rid of that little thing because if you don't you're not going to get your bots it's going to block your bots okay then we want to go to PowerBot type it in add script install it's done done um, there pause and, and once again you want to pause and wait for Facebook to approve it and it should also ask you you may have to go back here to this mess again uh, double click that I don't know what that is so I'm gonna approve it for now and reload the page okay then we're going to go back to kingdoms of camelot extend the page and we have to go approve kingdoms of camelot like i said it's a little bit hard when you first set it up but after you get everything approved so it will change because it may not change yes yeah, see it won't change cities unless you approve it so you got to go back into here to blocked you got to mark Kingdoms of Camelot. 
Ooh, wrong domain. Okay, but allow kingdoms of Camelot. Allow kingdoms of Camelot. Allow Facebook. Allow. Done. Reload the page. <coughs> and, oh, Christ, it's still got shit. Okay, it takes a few minutes of getting stuff done with it to get it sorted out. But once you get through, everything's not where it's not blocked. It has a little tiny issue of going through and getting approvals for everything. And once you get it set, then you should be fine. And you should not you should be able to change your cities without issue. Okay, we're going to save this bookmark. 461. I don't never use that part. I just label it 461. We know it's KOC, so we don't need that. We need the space on the taskbar. 461, done. Okay, block. Allow. Set cookies, blocked. Share this. Allow. allow done reload the page and hopefully it will have gotten through everything you need to un unlocks to allow it to function what is the issue um, see if it'll yeah, it'll, okay, you don't have to allow all the things. I don't know what that other stuff is, but as you see, it does let you change cities now, so you should be good. You can click back in, and then you should be good. You should be able to set up your cities, and you should be secure enough that it sh will run. This is a very strict browser as far as, but once it's set up good, it runs fine. Once again, go back into your bot. And go ahead and set it up. We still got, we're only seven minutes into putting this one up. Transparent windows, pixels. No, no. Chat on the right, it's up. Friends only, nobody. Okay, add your toggle buttons. Plum, change, done. And once again, you're going to set up this browser the same way you did the other one. Uh, you're just going to go through and mark the ones you want uh, to allow. You can go back in later and block some of the other things. But anything pertaining to KOC, you definitely don't want to block because it will not let you change cities. <clears throat> It's, it's a very tight browser. It runs very well. And the biggest pain in the butt to this is setting up the uh, original settings so that it doesn't block your bots. But once it's going, it's good. I don't want to hear this stupid thing for five seconds or ten seconds. It's enough to hear it for two. Oh crap. Really? Now I get to start all over again. Yeah, you don't want food alerts. So we want to take them out if they're in there. Uh, there it is. Okay. That's done. Game fixes is done. 
No, wait. No, I don't do that. That's done. Stupid tower's done. Dashboard is done. Chat settings. Bold. Report settings. You might as well go ahead and set these all up for your... And please mark delete incoming scouts because this drives all the alliances crazy. They want them deleted. And if you're a good alliance mate, you will delete your shit. Because nobody wants to see it. Okay, again, remove that. And defend, I don't use. The calculator, I don't use. Uh, tournament, I don't use. Megas, I don't use. Research, I don't need in this domain. And resources I don't need. So then I can just go through and click what I do need. Like I said, the more you add to your browser and your bot, the better chances are you're going to have issues with it. So I just eliminate it from the beginning. And as you can see, it don't take long to set up. And it's done. And this goes over here. Oh, one last thing you can go through before you set this up and do your uh, building. You can do your toggles and uh, transports. And reassign. Reassign, add your toggle switches for what you need. And craft. Hoy vey. These are just the basics that people need. Then you can close this and drag this up here. I don't like having it above chat because if the page jumps, you end up changing throne rooms. And that can cause you a big issue. So you don't want to do that if you don't don't have your presets above your chat move them off to the side that way they're not conflicting and you don't stand a chance of accidentally clicking the wrong thing and changing your throne room okay done okay now uh we want to go back to settings we want to go to history click history remember to bookmark history no judy not now Okay, uh, last hour, all time, and, oh, good lord. And then you want to bookmark this, click save, delete this, uh, clear history. And done, and it's on your, there, you can close this out, that's done, that's done, your bookmarks are there. And then all you got to do is go to Facebook and bookmark Facebook just in case. You can drag it over there or whatever you want. Facebook's marked, your domain's marked, and clear history is there. So then you're good to go. Any questions, you can hit me up in game or on Messenger or whatever. You know how to reach me. Thanks. Bye.